You're listening to Ask Dr. Jake. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker. I am the owner and founder of Good Life Family Chiropractic here on the south side of Lincoln, here in the beautiful state of Nebraska. And I'm coming to you this morning with another message of hope, health, and wholeness. And so if you're in need of those things, if you're in need of hope, if you're in need of health or you're in need of wholeness, you've come to the right place. But you can also reach my office at 531 531- 289-7100. Again, that's 531-289-7100. You can call or text that number and we're standing by to take your questions today. We love to answer our patients' questions because as doctors, you have to remember, remember that our job is not to heal you. That healing comes from above. There's only one place that healing comes from. Our job is to lead, guide, direct you, to teach you, to point you to the source And as we do that, your health can be restored. You can have hope for whatever you're going through. And I say that from a place of authority because I know that the God who made me, who breathed life into two cells inside my mother's wound, and they and immediately they began to duplicate and form and differentiate 36 trillion times to form this living, loving, thinking clay that's sitting on the other side of the radio from each other right now. That same God who did that and who also put an intelligence inside you that not only accomplished those things, but also reforms you every 15 to 20 years from a cellular level, that same God, he can heal you and he will heal you provided you remove the interference from what is allowing that to happen. Some of you need some spiritual healing. Some of you need some mental or emotional healing, but some of you you have to remove the physical interference in the healing process in order to get there. And I've gotten to see some pretty incredible examples of that this week. We're having people respond from across the area, people coming from as far away as Omaha and as far away as Fremont and as far away on the other side, you know, as York coming into the office and coming from Columbus even and asking themselves, is this an approach that can help me heal, that can help me overcome this? And the answer is yes. You know, And the reason why I say that is not because I guarantee that I can treat anything that you have, but because our God can heal you from anything that you have, provided you remove the interference from that relationship. And so it starts with an understanding of where health comes from. I had, I had a, a young man come into my office with his mother just yesterday. And uh, he had uh, gotten a concussion several years ago in a fall, had re-injured himself several months after that, and had gotten some chiropractic care. And uh, I'll say hats off to the chiropractor. Seems like he did a fantastic, fantastic job of addressing the concussion. However, he did nothing to educate the mom or the child about where health comes from. And so that's where the conversation starts. You have to understand where health comes from. It comes from above. And it starts from above down, coming from inside of us and expressing itself outwards, creating almost a crucifix or an empty cross of healing, a model for healing for us. You know, you got to remember that our bodies are doing some incredible things, even without us thinking about it. You think about the heart and it pumping blood through the body. You think about the lungs getting oxygen in, getting carbon dioxide out. You think about the immune system constantly taking in all these bacteria, all these viruses, and using them to its benefit to make you stronger, to make you healthier. And as your body does that, you do not even have to think about it. But the problem comes when there's interference. And so what we were addressing with this young man was, yes, we wanted to make sure that those uh, symptoms of the concussion never came back and get his spine, get his nervous system to a place where it can deal with other traumas in the future because he's, he's just starting out. He wants to play football. He wants to play football in high school. He's just in middle school. He's still playing flag football. And I advised them that some of the activities that they could do that would reduce the risk of that, the way that the spine develops and grows and protects a child's central nervous system to protect that from concussion and risk of neurological damage. But we had to begin to address some of those things that are creating misalignments in some of the most protective systems in the body. So you look at your central nervous system. It is the home for all function and healing. It controls all function and healing in your body. 
And what this young man was doing was he was taking the spine, which is designed to surround and protect that system. And he was warping it and distorting it every single day with the things that he did. Number one, he loves to play video games. And he's been stuck at home for the last several months, like many of us have, and in our children. We, we just have to give him something to do so we can have a moment of sanity, so we can deal with these work emails, or we can deal with this crisis on the other hand. And so we give them things to do, like video games or like television shows. Well, he took a normal gaming posture. He leaned in at his waist toward the screen, looking up, arching his neck almost too far back, all while bent forward. And when I looked at his x-rays, even though I tried to force him into the best posture just by having him shift and pull and put those curves back into the right place, even with that, his posture and the structure of his spine was limited and was putting a crushing pressure on his spinal cord, a pathological tension on his spinal cord because he had completely reversed the curve in his low back. If you're looking off to my left right now, you see an example of what that spine should look like from the side. Just look at the bottom section of that curve. If you're watching on Facebook right now, we stream these radio shows in the broadcast on Facebook Live, facebook.com slash Jake. Look to the side and you can see that 45 degree curve in the low back. Imagine that going the other direction and with the spinal cord, with it tethered basically at each of the nerve roots and the ligaments that hold that in place, it stretches it out, push, putting a damaging pressure there. If we leave that pressure there, it most directly affects not just the muscles and the tissues that you feel. 80% of the time, you don't feel this kind of tension and pain until it's been there for 20 years. Where you feel this ends up being in the organs. Where you see symptoms soonest is usually in the organs and their function. And we start to see disorders build up. If we leave that kind of pressure and tension and damage there on the spinal cord, as it's controlling the function of the digestive system, as it's affecting the accessory organs of digestion, the primary organs of digestion, can we expect that he's going to have a healthy digestive system in the long term? And that's nothing to say about the potential for low back pain or low back issues that he's going to have. If we leave that there, we know just from a, a simple principle called Wolf's Law that we leave those joints out of alignment for as little as two weeks. It's going to start to degenerate irreparably. You leave that misalignment there for two weeks and I can't get you back to 100%. There's nothing you can do to get back to 100% percent because of the degenerative process that take place. That's why if you've never been to a chiropractor to have the joints of your spine checked out, you are destined for degenerative arthritis. It's not because your dad had it. It's not because your mom had it. It's because Adam and Eve had it because God designed these laws and principles of health and healing and also inversely the principles of sickness and disease to affect all of us equally. And it's our lifestyle, the habits that we create, the habits that we live out that will determine our success or failure there. And so we've started to develop a plan for this young man to get his spine healthy, maybe for the first time in his life, maybe because of some of the birth traumas he had or some of the issues he had as a toddler with learning how to crawl or learning how to walk. Maybe he's never fully expressed health. And so maybe for the first time in his life, we're going to be able to give him that health. And instead of reacting to a diagnosis like our healthcare system wants you to do, it actually starts working on prevention, saving him thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars over the course of his life by investing in his health on the front end. And let me tell you, if that you're ready for that, if you're ready to invest in your health from the front end, or even if you've gone down this route where you're now sick, and you're tired, and you're in pain, and you don't know what to do because nobody's giving you any hope, then pick up the phone and call my office right now, 402-413-8825. And I'm standing by to answer the phone. I'll stand by to answer your text message or your questions. And I had a young lady just yesterday. She told me that her doctor said that she would be dealing with blood clots for the rest of her life after developing them from a medication that the doctor prescribed and the doctor took her off of because of the blood clots. And I told her, that's not how it works. Your body is designed to heal from those. That, can, that drug that you took that creates a clots can continue to create clots and can continue to have an effect this, for the same amount of time that you were on it. 
before it flushes out of your system, unless we start to do some of the things to help remove interference from the healing process. So your body, which is designed to cleanse you from toxins, to cleanse you from things that are not meant to be there, that God did not design you with to flush it out and to heal it. What are those things that we can do to remove interference? Number one, let's look to the cause. Let's look at what's creating that distress. If your doctor's telling you that you cannot heal, that is a stress that will keep you from healing. Your brain is powerful. The thing called placebo effect, it's measuring how you respond if you think you're going to heal. And guess what? A certain percentage of people heal just because they think they're going to heal. And so if you think you can't heal, you're right. If you think you can heal, you're right. I'm not here to tell you if you're right or wrong. I'm here to tell you that if you start visualizing, not believing, but visualizing your healing, it's more likely to come in place. That's the power of a positive mindset. Think positively. Don't surround yourself with negative information. Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to the doomsayers. Listen to the voice of hope because the God of hope creates life and peace and health and wholeness. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. Number two, look to the source of health and healing, and that is above. Look at your nervous system because that's where God put that healing, that function inside your body to control all function and healing in every organ, cell, and tissue. It keeps your heart beating. It keeps your lungs breathing. It heals a cut on your hand, arm, or leg. It heals you from cancer on a daily basis, all without you thinking about it. Make sure that it's healthy and make sure that what's designed to surround and protect it, your spine is also healthy because that's part of the central nervous system. If that's out by even two millimeters or two degrees from its normal position, which you can see off to my left, then it will create interference to the healing process. Number three, what can create interference in the healing process is what you're putting in your body, both from a toxic perspective, but also from a nutritional perspective. If you're not getting the right nutrients into your body, if you're exposing yourself to things that you're sensitive to or allergic to, then you will absolutely develop interference into the healing process. Number four, are you getting enough oxygen and are you getting enough movement? Because movement is life and every cell, tissue, and organ in your body requires oxygen. If you are not exercising, if you are not being active every day, you are oxygen deprived. Focus on getting oxygen. And lastly, look at those things that can interfere with you chemically, interfere with that healing process chemically. If you're putting in bad chemistry into your body, you're going to become bad chemistry on the outside. Look to those things. Call my office 531-289-7100. I'll see you again Monday for another episode of Ask Dr. Jake.